What's up, Gabe Rooster, Cast Guy here, and today we're talking about the death of Xbox. But why? When the rumors were going around about Indiana Jones, um, you know, coming to PS5, I wasn't shocked. I wasn't surprised. You know, Phil Spencer comes out, does the interview, basically confirms that, yeah, that's pretty much mostly true, but we're just starting with four games. And for some reason, again, the fanboys, they walk away from it and they say, oh, I guess it's just four games. It's, it's a great angle. She, I, She's very pretty. I, Sarah Bond's jawline's fabulous. So and this one just feels like another lazy, watered-down cash grab. PlayStation is so fixated on live service games. They've said they're working on like 10 of these. And honestly, so many of them feel like a weird, pointless pivot. Know your fucking place, trash. I trust the numbers more than anything. I think the numbers, you know, they, they can't lie. They don't lie. The data tells me that Sony's not going to jump in to doing day one PC releases with their single player games because they stand to lose too much momentum with their console sales. Why are they bringing Lego Horizon to Switch? See, again, you're, you're completely misrepresenting that if you think that that is an effort to go into publisher multiplat. Lego games are licensed with Lego, and often Lego is going to want to negotiate where it lands, same way that Marvel and Disney and any other property owner is going to license a property. Lego is going to want that game to be in more places. Wait a minute! There is computing. Users will be able to play their favorite games seamlessly. Gamers will be able to find a place to play in different spaces. While PlayStation will remain our core product, we will expand our gaming experiences to PC, mobile, and cloud. They said, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Demo Flow Gaming Show, where I share my passion for gaming and keep you informed of everything that's going on with the Xbox ecosystem and, of course, Sony PlayStation fanboys. Indiana Jones is officially coming to PlayStation 5, and some Xbox guys are throwing away their Xbox to get PS5. Could you imagine? After talking down on PlayStation for years, they're now saying they are going to PlayStation. This is fun because by being part of the Xbox ecosystem, you get to play Indiana Jones in Game Pass earlier and at a better price. I feel like these Xbox console warriors were always the equivalent of Sony ponies, but on the Xbox side. They are radicals in both sides. So seeing grown men crying over more people having access to a video game is the funniest thing I've ever seen. This is what happens when your whole personality revolves about console sales and exclusives. So when Xbox don't give you the ammo you want so that you can rub it on Sony PlayStation gamers, you get mad at Xbox. You are just as bad as these ponies. You are exactly what's wrong with the gaming community. It is a shame because we are in the middle of the digital era. Every game should be in every platform and should be compatible with every device that has the computing power to run games. Why are we still stuck in the console wars when the Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 are nothing but computers with limitations put in place by these big companies so that you have to own an specific piece of hardware to run and play the games you want and the games you own. Xbox got into gaming a bit later than Sony PlayStation, so it is natural that it was going to be left behind from the beginning. But today, I can stand here to tell you that Xbox is 10 years ahead of Sony. They could see the future and they will spend Sony out of business. Xbox launched four first party games on PlayStation this year with Sea of Thieves and Grounded being of great success in the PlayStation platform. They competed with games like Rise of Running and Stellar Blade. 
you know what happened at xbox games wiped the floor with these sony exclusives they did great and it is the truth phil told you already that these four games were going to be a test sachia nadera told you that they were going to double up in gaming the thing is that a bunch of these gaming pundits misinterpret speculate gossip and they don't even know what's really going on so in their minds they thought because of xbox was investing more in games this means that we are getting more exclusives while this might be true to an extent xbox is now the biggest publisher in the world so price they gonna publish games whatever they want by the way everybody with a phone you already have access to all of the xbox games what are we doing xbox doesn't need to let you know what they're going to do where they're gonna put their games does playstation do it did they ask the ponies for permission to put elmo be the show day one on xbox game pass did they ask the sony ponies permission to put spider-man god of war and horizon on pc did they even talk about it in their press conference did they even ask ponies if it was okay to put the lego horizon game on nintendo hell no they just put it there and that's it i feel like xbox at least try to give you a reason at least got the balls to face you the fan and tell you what's going on to all my xbox people you can get mad or you can continue and keep playing the games that you already own and the service that you already like i'm always telling you how other people enjoy the games doesn't affect your gaming experience so I want to see all the fake ass Xbox people that get on here crying about all of this just for the cloud because at the end of the day, I want to see you get real with yourself. Go, go to PlayStation and you know what? It's fine. Play Indiana Jones. Wait six months, six months and pay $70 for it like the corporate slave you are. This is the week of Gamescom one of the biggest gaming events in the year everybody's excited for video games the only big player who's attending gamescom is xbox where is sony playstation if you don't get the hint that's your problem the reality is that xbox got way more games than playstation and xbox offer you more value than playstation xbox give you the option to play whatever you want how you want and when you want look at all these games coming dropping on game pass day one the biggest game this year is dropping on game pass call of duty which looks freaking incredible we get to play and enjoy that day one while playstation gamers had to pay 70 dollars to access it now tell me who's looking stupid don't you guys think xbox know this they know this there are some hardcore players out there that won't ever switch to xbox sony playstation is dry as fuck yeah, these ponies are out here trying to make it seem like Xbox is the one dying. This is ridiculous. Now you guys do what you want. I'ma keep playing my Xbox. I'ma keep playing games on Game Pass day one. And I'm gonna continue to save my money. Playing more games and spending less. Switch to PlayStation right now if you want to. But don't come over here later to tell me how you feel. You feel how you feel. Get these games six months later, a year later, five years later. Who cares? At the end of the day, I hit it first for free. While you have to wine and dine, pay and get married before you get anywhere near the Xbox games. The Sony Pony life is a simp life. Well, uh, boy, there's no real easy way to say this, but uh, look. You're a simp. Choose your destiny wisely because there is no way back if you become a teen dog. So this is how I feel, guys. Let me know down there in the comments if you're rocking with Xbox or if you're switching to PS5. The gaming industry is changing, so we got to get on with the times. Either way, you can always come with your boy Demo Flow or Demo Flow Gaming Channel and see what's new with the Xbox ecosystem and the gaming industry in general. If you are addicted to Pony Salt, just like I am, don't worry, there is more Pony Salt to come very, very soon. Ponies are gonna have a meltdown very, very soon, and I can't wait to cover it for you guys. In the meantime, enjoy your gaming.
freaking play games i'm getting back into starfield that last update that they introduced a new vehicle is super cool shadow space is coming out in a few weeks and i can't wait to get into it call of duty beta is right around the corner a split gate 2 alpha just came out all these games are looking incredible so what a time to be alive enjoy your gaming it's a full week of xbox games out there and y'all out here crying you already know the deal it's your boy demo flow checking out hold on hold on hold on i'm not done yet if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more fire xbox ecosystem videos yo look i'm gonna be live uh this friday at 11 a.m eastern time i'm gonna be covering these topics and more so come over here and hang out we got plenty to talk about so y'all already know the deal now i'm for real getting the hell out of here i'll see you on the next one it's your boy demo flow checking out